The Gooseneck Lake dispersed campsites are located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula in Manistique, but it's actually a little ways northeast of Manistique. Here there are four different dispersed campsites and on the way in, just make sure you trust your GPS. Some of the roads come and go in different areas than what the GPS says they do. And some of the roads are narrow two tracks that look hardly traveled. But in the end, the GPS did get me exactly where I wanted to go. My first stop here is actually at site number four. And there's not anybody here, so we're going to get right up into this site. As I walk up here, you can see it's actually a nice quiet area. The only complaint that I would have about this space right here is off to the left side of me. There's a house not too far out in the woods back there. And it might even have a small business of some sort as several trucks were coming and going. I could hardly hear the road noise, but you could still definitely tell that you weren't that far away from civilization. This campsite does have a nice fire ring and a stairway of sorts that goes down to the water where you have a little bit of a sandy beach and you can go out there and swim or bathe or just launch a canoe and kayak and do some fishing from here. Heading northwards, we are going to stop at sites number two and three here on Gooseneck Lake. Sites number two and three here are more like two large group sites. And it would be my guess that the people that are staying at this site are a large group as they seem to be intermingling the way a large group would. They have tables, chairs set up, and even outdoor games and activities set up between the two group sites. So we're just going to scroll through really quick and show that you can get some pretty decent sized rigs down this narrow two track that comes back here. And then we're going to scoot off and take a quick look at the lake. For what it's worth, the trails coming back here to the lake and to these dispersed sites, they were pretty rough. In fact, the ones coming back to two and three, they were rough enough that I was up on some rocks with my tires, kind of hobbling over some really large stone in the middle of the two track. So definitely do not come to this site if you are riding in a low clearance vehicle. On the way out, we're going to check out site number one, which is, again, a nice little two-track that comes down here. There is somebody's vehicle and tent set up, so we're just going to look from a distance here. I don't want to be super nosy. Here's a quick sign that has the phone number listed if you want to pre-register for these sites. As you cannot pay when you get here, you do have to register online or by phone. 